what you're about to preview, uh, let me just give you a little bit of what's going on. In our nation's capital, we have uh, a big pro-life rally. There still is a, a bit of resistance to have pro-life. And so we've come here to join the pro-lifers. The problem is, I had to make a separation. And do understand, I don't enjoy coming here and preaching to people. But on this one, we have to. The Bible says, thou shalt not kill. That's a commandment number six. But the Bible says, no graven images. Uh, that's commandment number two. And if pecking order means anything, we need to uh, do understand that commandment number two is something that we should be uh, emphasizing. And that's what we did. And unfortunately, I would say uh, 80 to 85 percent of the crowd was Roman Catholic. And we had a message for them. You want to stop abortion, stop idolatry to marry. And uh, again, I would have loved to just fellowship, shake hands, pat people in the back, and say God bless you. But we came here for business. We came here for God's business. And God doesn't like idolatry. Much more even, God hates the hands that shed innocent blood. So we joined with those guys and uh, in their parade, but we made the issue idolatry, keeping to what God says. Commandment number two, he put it in that pecking order, and that's the way we should look at this. And uh, so that's what you're about to see. We didn't come here to cause division, to purposely go out of our way to do this. Um, we came here to stand for God's uh, holy standard, and primarily commandment number two. You, see, you don't know how many FUs from the Catholics and the statues of Mary going by and the rosary beads. We should take great offense in that. And if you're going to take out offense in uh, abortion, you should be even more angrier at this. And so uh, you might be a pro-lifer, and this may cause a division between you and I. I can care less. I'm not going to lose any sleep. I'm not going to miss a meal. The reason why we came here was to promote God's standard. And commandment number two is beyond commandment number six. God bless you. Thank you. Mary, 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 listen to your prayer. Rosary beads are not going to do anything. Hey, who? Why would you want to pray to Mary? Why would you want to pray to the Virgin Mary when you can pray to Almighty God? Don't you want to go directly to God in your prayer? Something you need to consider about. Not one example of anybody pray to the Virgin Mary. Catholics, you are drunken with Mary. You are drunken with Mary. Show me where the, one the word purgatory is found. Like you don't find it in the Bible. This is Your religion lied to you. Okay. Your religion lied to you. Just keep the boy away from the priest. What religion are Dad, you? be a real good father what and keep are you? the boy away from the priest. They are dead. We don't pray to dead people. That's called being a necromancer. Your church is nothing more than a necromancer. What are you? You know, I'm a born again Bible believing Christian. Oh, man. So explain it. Well, I'm 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 the guy that your church used to kill. That's who I am. So explain what you're for. I am for the Bible. I am for Jesus Christ. Okay, so you believe in Abortion God. is murder. Abortion is commandment number six. No. Commandment number six. What is commandment number two? Can you call me the, the second commandment? Yes. What's commandment number two? No, no, no. What is commandment number two? No, that's commandment number six. No, wrong again. Come on, Catholic. See, you're going to turn me off to being a Catholic. I was going to I was gonna be so close to being a Catholic, but you turned me off. Jesus is always the answer. The second commandment is don't bow down the graven images. That's, that's, that's what you're doing. That's what, you go into any Catholic church today and there's statues of the Virgin Mary. You're going to see them out here today. Virgin Mary was a chosen 
person that God chose. But you don't bow down to her. You don't pray to her. She doesn't get you out of purgatory. You pray her intercession. No, you don't, you, you don't do that. You don't do that. That's not the second commandment. Yeah, the Catholics have removed the second commandment. Where in the Bible does it say So then the Hebrews lie. The where Jews lie. The, the Jewish that? Ten Commandments is different. Where does it different. say that in the Bible? Uh, Exodus chapter 20. All right. You don't pray to the Virgin Mary. I pray. You threw her intercession. But I why? To Allah. I told you. <laughs> if you had Trump's phone <laughs> number, Turkey. you would call him. Or would I text you would, him? You or would, would I Allah. FaceTime him? But you would go directly to him. Why I'm would you so have to go? To but you're not. Yes, I am. Why would you have to go through Mary to go through God? I'm not. That's ludicrous. I'm, I'm going to That's through ludicrous. Any of you boys get touched by a priest? Any of you boys get touched by a priest? Any of you boys get touched by a priest? I mean, I want to know if any of you boys got touched by a priest. Trying to know the Jesus Christ of the Bible, people. We want to stop abortion. Stop worshiping the Virgin Mary. You want to stop abortion? Stop worshiping the Virgin Mary. You want to stop abortion? Stop praying to the Virgin Mary. Trying to know the Jesus Christ of the Bible, guys. No, I'm right. The Bible is true. The Bible is just. Abortion is murder. But you understand. Bowing down to the Virgin Mary is wrong. God is not going to honor your prayers of the Virgin Mary. And obey the God of the Bible, the Jesus Christ of the Bible. You are standing for a good cause. 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 Yet you go backwards when you bow down to Mary and you honor Mary. Shame on you. You're not touching those boys, are you? You're not touching those boys, are you? You guys ought to stop touching those boys. And if any of you have been molested by a boy, I recommend that you go directly to law enforcement and get that priest arrested. Shame on you. Shame on you. Much like the Pharisees. Much like the Pharisees. I hate abortion just like God hates abortion. But God hates bowing down to a false image, a graven image, even beyond abortion. Time to know the Jesus Christ of the Bible. Time for you to get serious about God. How about knowing the Jesus Christ of the Bible who said he is the only mediator between God and man. Not Mary, not St. Jude, not St. Joseph, the God of the Bible who died for you on the cross, who rose from you on the cross, who's coming back one day, most likely for you. That is, if you don't believe in the Virgin Mary, stop honoring the Virgin Mary with prayers. She is not a co-redeemer. She's not going to get you out of purgatory. You Catholics have made two steps forward and three steps back. You are for a good cause against abortion, yet you hang around Catholicism. You are unequally yoked with God. You are unequally yoked with a religion. Time to know the Jesus Christ of the Bible. Time to know the God of the Bible. Time to get serious about Jesus the Christ. You need to be pro-eternal life. Pro-eternal life only happens with the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Pro-eternal life happens with Jesus, not Mary. You don't pray to Jude. Time for you to know the Jesus Christ in the Bible. God has blessed me. We're concerned about you today. We want God to bless you today. God will bless you. God will bless you when you stop bowing down to Mary. God will bless you when you stop praying and doing the rosary beads. Time to obey the God of the Bible. Come on, Christians. 
You, you, you claim to know Jesus and yet the person standing next to you has an altar to a different God and you say there's nothing wrong with that. There should be something wrong with that. This is your wake-up call. God will not remove abortion because God's not hearing your prayer when you're praying to the Virgin Mary. Trying to know the Jesus Christ of the Bible. Time for you to know the God of the Bible. Time for you priests to stop molesting those little boys. Right. Shame on you. Shame on Catholicism for allowing those priests to molest those boys. Shame on you. We are pro-life. We are pro-eternal life. We are pro-eternal life. Time for you to repent and know the Jesus Christ of the Bible. You Catholics need to know your history. All the amount of bloodshed within your history. Like your evil heart right now, what most of you would love to do to us today. This is your wake-up call, Catholics. Time to obey the God of the Bible. And if you are a real born-again Christian, how can you stand with somebody who is for Catholicism, who prays to the Virgin Mary?